by the year 2030, they're projecting that 9 billion people are gonna be on the planet. And it's kind of a stretch to believe our traditional farming methods are gonna be able to keep up and maintain feeding our population as it grows that way. With hydroponics, we're able to start turning spaces that otherwise wouldn't be farms into centers of food production and hopefully continue to feed our population with local, healthy, fresh produce. We've developed Nevada's first school hydroponics program and we concentrate on kindergarten through fifth grade, but we also work with middle and high school students. We begin with very simple hydroponic systems in kindergarten and first grade and progressively introduce some more complex systems including deep water culture, NFT, and aeroponics. Every school also gets a commercial hydroponic system that's the same type used in the industry. Yeah, you got it. We're at JT McWilliams with Mr. Lee's fifth grade class, right? Yeah. All right, and so we've been working on hydroponics for a couple weeks now, and you've been bringing your journals in. So what are some of the things you've noticed? The plants in the very end, they're not growing because they're not getting that much light. Right, yeah, so our two towers on the end aren't getting nearly as much light as the rest of them. Well, hydroponics is a practice of growing plants in a system without soil. It's a great way of incorporating technology into farming and turning spaces that otherwise aren't normally farmable into farms. So it helps because it doesn't have no dirt, you don't have to get your hands dirty. You can just hand it and cut it. That's all you need to do. You used to live on a farm, so you're a professional, right? Oh, she already knows. Look at that. If you do traditional farming, you have to harvest it before the winter. And this thing, you can bring it inside and you and you can farm and do stuff in the winter time. A lot of the teachers initially will be kind of skeptical of hydroponics. They might think it's too advanced for a pre-K to fifth grade age group. But after two or three visits, they start to make some really interesting observations. Well, one of them is like in the middle, kind of in the middle. It's not growing, and I think that, and I think it's not growing because it has too much sunlight. It could be, you know what, when those plants were really small when we first put them in there, uh, that could have. That could have been a problem for them. I thought it was because the light is like right in front of it. It's not um, to the side, so it's getting too much sunlight, which dried it out. So then we replaced it with some new ones. So then now it's getting, I think it's like getting better. I'm looking forward to eat it, of course, because I want to see how it tastes, because I never tried any of these kind of plants. Hi, we're at Helen Her Elementary today, and we're doing a chef demo using items that were grown in their hydroponics tower. We're going to be making a beautiful salad today called a leafy green salad with a mint vinaigrette, and I think the kids are going to love it. It's pretty good. It's delicious. One of the great things we're noticing about hydroponics is that it's localizing food in places where that otherwise might not take place. Say land isn't available for farming or conditions don't support year-round growth of produce. With hydroponic systems, since you have control over the temperature, the nutrients, the light that the system's receiving, you can actually increase, in some cases, the speed of plant growth. Some hydroponic farmers report they can grow plants up to twice as fast as a regular in-ground plant. They're very energy efficient compared to traditional farming is 70 to 90 percent less water used as it is directed exactly where needed. In an area you might be able to grow 10 plants in the ground by growing vertically and engineering systems that use the vertical space you can grow up to 10 times as many plants in the same amount of space. Aside from being a great educational opportunity for students, it's also becoming a vocational pathway. They might develop the next new type of hydroponics that none of us have thought of yet. We sometimes mention the fact that this might be a type of farming like an astronaut would use and that really kind of sets the kids off and you can see their, their imagination kind of goes wild when you mention things like that.
I feel I'm delighted to be a part of this thing because not because there's only one class in fifth grade that does this and um, they chose in our class and it's really cool because this is technology growing the plants, not just us. Well, some people say it's harder. But it's not that hard one to once you get to know it. I feel it's really cool and interesting, and then I'm feeling that I'm learning more as I come every Friday. I'm learning new things.